is a consuming God is a consuming for our God is a consuming Pyrophobia. And he said with a loud voice, Fear God, and give him glory, because the hour of his judgment has come, and worship him who made heaven and earth, the sea, and the springs of water, and from the throne came a voice saying, Praise our God, all you his servants, you who fear him, small and great. For you have not come to what may be touched, a blazing fire, and darkness, and gloom, and a tempest, and the sound of a trumpet, and a voice whose words made the hearers beg that no further messages be spoken to them. For they could not endure the order that was given. If even a beast touches the mountain, it shall be stone. Indeed, so terrifying was the sight that Moses said, I tremble with fear. See that you do not refuse him with speaking, for if they did not escape when they refused him who warned them on earth, much less will we escape if we reject him who warns from heaven. At that time his voice shook the earth, but now he has promised, yet once more, I will shake not only the earth, but also the heavens. This phrase, yet once more, indicates the removal of things that are shaken, that is, things that have been made. I speak unto thee this day, and I say, if my own people would learn to be content with my rule over them, then I say they would not complain against me. That is, if they would learn that it is me, the living God, who does care for their souls, and be content in the same, then they would not reach out to the arm of flesh. That is, they would not make flesh their arm in the sense that they look for man, that they look for men, that they look for humankind to rule over them. But I say they would find their contentment in being ruled by me. But I say in this wicked, perverse, and vile generation, there are many injustices, many wickednesses, and many transgressions that befall the sons of men because they have refused my rule over them. That is, they have refused to be ruled by me, to be directed and corrected by me. And I say they have refused to walk in what it is that I ordain the way of eternal life. And I say they have refused to walk in the strength, the truth, the mercy that I alone do bring. Now I say this day when men will look to men to be their head, I say they are not looking to me. That is, when they take up systems, when they take up religions, when they take up that which is nothing but a din of liars and thieves, what do they do? I say they put themselves under the oppression of the same and there they remain. Then I say they complain, they murmur, but I say they have chosen their vice. That is, they have chosen in opposition to me. They have chosen to be ruled by other powers other than me. Now I say this day that I don't have been God did in the days of old desire to rule my people through my prophets and my word made manifest unto them. But I say my people longed for a king like the heathen. That is exactly what they got. That is, they wanted a king to rule over them. They wanted the wickedness, the oppression, the lavish living, the luxury of the same. And yes, they became the slaves that promoted the king. But I say that it is me, the living God, who gave them what they wanted because they were discontent with me. Now I say, so it is even now that when I came to earth as a man, I was meant to be the one that my own people looked to, believed, and trusted to rule over them. But I say the majority rejected my rule. I say they wanted the systems of men. That is, they wanted the oppression, they wanted the sorrow, they wanted the pain that comes of the cruelty of men. And I say all the while they claim that it is me that they serve. But I say this day if any man or woman will truly serve me, then I say they will learn to be subject to me. That is, they will learn that it is me, the living God, who will direct and correct them by my word, if they will be attentive to the same. But I say when men will neglect my word, my truth, my light that is given unto them, then I say they take upon themselves the rule of oppression. And I say it is because they have grown discontented with me. Now I say this day that the spirit that I put within you is never discontented. And I say when you feel discontentment, remember this. Remember that you need to repent, that you need to turn from that, for it is nothing but demonic influence over your carnality that makes you in unrest. 
For I say that I am living God to have the perfect way provided for my people, and yes, they can be guided in the same. But I say when you find those factions within your own self that are disagreeing with me, I say it is the time to repent. For I say that my people are not meant to live in opposition to me, but I say that my people are meant to live in cooperation with me. And I say that my people are meant to be brought forth ever may glad for the truth, the light, the mercy that I provide. And I say that my people are meant to live in me ever may glad that it is me they are privileged to love, to serve, and obey. For I say when a people will find their joy, their contentment in me, then they are guided forth by me. Now I say this day that I, the living God, do intend that you would look to me as the author and the finisher, the beginning and the end. And I say that I do intend that you would partake of me, for I am the one who is the rock of refuge unto thee. And I say that I do intend that you would continue in repentance, revolution, the humility way of life that I provide. For I say that it is me who will guide my people forth in the truth, the light, the mercy of who I am. But I say when the ones who claim that they are my people will prefer the corrupt, the iniquitous, the vile systems of men above me, then I say they pay for the same. Now I say you can look with sympathy and empathy and compassion upon those who are indeed involved in those systems, but remember this. Remember that they are the ones who are choosing to be subject to the same because they are afraid to follow me. That is, they are afraid to listen to me, to obey the commands of my spirit. Therefore, I say they take on the cruelty of men. When I say they live under despotic rule, and I say all the while they moan and groan in the same. But I say that if men would be attentive unto me and obey the call of my spirit, I say that I call the ones whose hearts long for me to come out of the filthiness of men. That is, to come out of the systems of corruption called religion, and to enter into and remain in me. And I say that I call my people to be made glad that it is me they can continue to love, to serve, and obey. And I say that I call my people to be made glad that they can indeed be uplifted, directed, and corrected by me. Now I say this day that I, the living God, am ever present to show forth my mercy to those who genuinely repent unto me. And I say when men will be willing to be guided by my spirit, then I say they are led forth into all truth. But I say when men want to be guided by their own understanding or else the understanding of carnality, I say they are merely going in death. And I say they are not alive in the spirit as I ordain, but I say they are dead in the flesh and there they remain. Then I say they wonder why it is that they are bound, why they are found in such darkness. I say it is because through their choices they are made prisoners of the same. Now I say this day that I, the living God, am giving the call to all to come unto me through repentance, revolution in their lives. And that means they turn away from the wickedness. That means they turn away from the evil and even the religious rut routine that they are in. That is, that they turn away from the man-made factions that will keep them in imprisonment to come forth in me. And that means that they will be thankful to be ruled by me. For I say, if men would pay heed to me, if they would indeed walk in my spirit and be attentive unto my word, then I say that they would be ruled by me. That is, they would be coming forth in that which I give, which is the truth, the light, and the mercy day by day. And I say that they would be uplifted in that which I, the living God, do intend for them the way of eternal life. And I say that they would be given the blessedness, the strength that I alone do bring. Now I say, therefore, this day be glad that you are given the opportunity, the privilege to walk uprightly, to be coming forth, to be directed in me. And I say, be thankful that it is me, the living God, who is caring for you and will direct you in life. And I say, be thankful that it is me, the living God, who will guide you forth by a plain path, as you will continue trusting, believing, and hoping in me. For I say, it is me, the living God, who is the way of all righteousness and truth, mercy and hope and peace provided. And it is me, the living God, who will guide my people by a plain path, as they will continue trusting, believing, and hoping in me. Now I say this day that I, the living God, will direct, correct, and guide forth the people who are ever trusting, believing, and hoping in me. That is, the ones who will keep in repentance, revolution, the humility way of my life, and be ever thankful unto me. 
But I say that the ones who are wanting the flamboyance of religion, the pomp of the same, and all of the rigmarole that men have brought forth, I say they will detour from me. And I say they will go under the yoke of the oppressor, and there they remain. Now I say this day when you see the ones who are in captivity, know that through me they could be set free. But I say because they refuse the call of my spirit, and they continue in the darkness of religion, then I say they are victims of the same. And I say not only they, but their children and their children's 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 children are victimized by the same. But I say consider that their choices are not for me. Now I say this day you can look upon men in their ignorance, you can look upon men in their helplessness, you can look upon men in all of the conditions that they are in and think poor little things. Or you can consider that it is me, the living God, who is able to penetrate the heart of any man or woman through the mind of my spirit, the voice of my spirit, and call them forth. But I say whether they will hear and obey, or whether they will hear and refuse is left to them. For I say that I do not force any to repent, I do not force any to serve me, to obey me, and follow me. But I say that I bring them to the knowledge that it is me they are meant to please and follow after. Now I say this day that I the living God do intend that men would listen to me once again. That is, that they would live and abide in the fear of me, the one true God who is able. For I say it is me, the living God, who is the life source. It is me, the living God, who is the truth, the light, the power, the strength, the glory intended. And it is me, the living God, who is ever present to bring forth the ones who will pay heed to me. For I say you are living in a lawless, a wayward, a perverse, and vile generation. But I say that you do not need to be found abiding in the same. But I say if you keep yourselves content in me, that is, by obedience, and by continual repentance and walking in my humility way, then I say you are guided by my tender mercies unto thee. But I say if you choose to throw off my yoke of mercy, to take on the yoke of oppression, then I say you reap the consequence of the same. For I say that I, the living God, am not mocked, and when men will choose to arm the flesh above me, the time comes that flesh becomes their cruel oppressor. And yes, they are under the curse because they look to mere men rather than me. Now I say this day there are many pretenders, there are many frauds, there are many hypocrites throughout this earth. And I say there are many who are claiming they are of me, but I say their deeds reveal that they are not. So I say if men want to believe the falsehood, the lies, the pretension that such fools put forth and come under the same, then I say they will reap what they sow. For I say they are not following me, but I say they are choosing the oppression, the cruelty of men. Now I say this day that I the living God am able, I say that I'm able to call all men unto me. That is, in repentance, revolution, which is what I am doing now. But I say if men will refuse that call, then I say their conditions are of their own making. And I say if men will prefer to be ruled by cruel men rather than me, then I say it is me, the living God, who will leave them in the wallow of the same. But I say that the ones who grow weary of the iniquity, the injustice, the darkness, the evil, the rebellion, the hatred, the pride, the perversion of religion, and cry out unto me, I say that I will bring them unto me. And I say that I will indeed forgive them as they repent unto me. But I say when men want to hold to their shackles, when men want to hold to their chains and declare they cannot forsake the same, why is it so? I say it is because they are loving the rottenness of their religion more than me. Now I say this day that it is me, the living God, who is bringing a shaking. It is me, the living God, who is bringing a quaking to the evil religious systems of men. For I say there are untold millions who are trapped and ensnared in the same. Yet I say it is me, the living God, who is giving the call to repent. And I say do not make excuses nor justifications in your minds for the ones who choose to stay in the cruelty of the same. But I say, instead, be knowing that it is me, the living God, who is just and faithful, and I say that I call to all. That is, I call throughout this earth in these wicked times for all men everywhere to repent. I say this day, be thankful for the privilege to be repentant, be thankful for the privilege to be brought forth and ever guided by me. And I say, be thankful that it is me, the living God, who gives forth the truth, the light, the strength, the mercy day by day. Be thankful that you can be uplifted in that which I ordain, that which I provide.
For I say it is me the living God who is righteousness and blessedness and mercy intended. And it is me the living God who gives the humility way to the truly repentant. What God works inside me, I got to work out not casually, but with fear and trembling. Ooh, that brings a solemn fear of the Lord in my heart. And I persuade men. I say, hey fellas, remember this, you're going to stand before God. And don't think with all these justification gimmicks, you're going to stand there. Verse 21.